It's the weekend. I'm so excited. I wake up at 12 p.m. and the first thing I do is I grab my phone. Ah, I'm scrolling on social media, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. Ooh, I just saw quite an attractive imaginary female on Instagram. I, 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 it's basically soft corn. Ah, now you're on the hub. And you're doing all of this in your stinky, manky, grubby bed that you haven't even left yet. Gather round, boys. We've got another bit. You don't realize right now that your biggest problem is your phone. It's this little tiny box that we have in our hands that has a glass screen and flashes lights at you. You don't realize that this is your biggest problem. And if you relate to anything that I just said, that you probably have the typical I'm addicted to my phone life. You probably have that typical addicted to your phone life. So where the first thing you wake up, like the first thing you touch isn't grass, it's your phone and you're just scrolling on it. And when you do, when you feel like, oh, I deserve to relax a little bit, you don't go outside into nature. You just scroll in your phone for a couple minutes, which then turns into a couple hours and you've wasted your whole day. Now, I know one of you, I know you guys really react, like relate to that because I did that. That was my life. It sucked. It really wasn't great. See, my story, if I think back to you, like, like if I think back, mate, I was exactly like you. I was no different. <laughs> we, we were the exact same. Younger me? We were the exact same, you know, like I literally like would get up in the morning and like I, w I was addicted to like my iPad. Like this was a big time when I was younger, you know, the iPad when they have that giant thick charger. Uh, then in the morning when my mom would leave to work, it was the weekend, she'd go out at like seven. I'd literally get out of my top bunk bed and my sister would be in the bottom and I'd go out of the like bathroom window because we, we could see her drive out and literally give the go the moment she drove out of the garden. I'd literally be like, all right, let's go downstairs. And we'd literally just go downstairs and like just go on our iPads and just game for literally the whole day. And my mom would come back at around like 12 midnight. Yeah, she was a hard worker. She was a hard worker. And uh, we'd lit I'd literally get all the chores done straight away. First thing, I'd get all the washing done. I'd get every done, everything done, all the food ready. Mom would like pre-cook us stuff. So like we'd be fine. And then, um, so we don't worry, we weren't starving. Uh, and then the, un the only reason I did that though, all the chores straight away first thing in the morning, was so I could game for the rest of the day until literally when my mom would come back and like we'd, we'd be able to hear the car and then the moment we could hear the car, everything turned off, lights off, iPad off, put it away, we'd go upstairs into our bed and start <laughs> go to sleep. But the thing is she'd come up and she'd like see us and we'd be sat there like this and like closing our eyes so forcefully to make it look like we're sleeping and she, she must have looked at us and just been like, yeah, you guys are sleep but she was chill she just walked off and she's like i know but and the thing is you probably think oh that's a funny sweet story but it's literally about two siblings that were just like addicted as fuck to like our our video games that was it and the thing is video games we started off with them but you know that that is affecting your mental health your physical health it's affecting your life and effectively it's gone to the point where it's now taken over your life you know this because it happened to me and that's where this magical word comes in Digital minimalism. See, the thing is, like, you could have this, like, life where you're super, super addicted and you could go to the absolute opposite end and just become a monk, literally aggressively hate your phone, all the instant gratification, all those addictions to the bad habits. You could aggressively hate all that and just become a complete monk, self-improvement, and just say fuck you to everything and just become an absolute god. And if you can do this, Bro, you've literally done it. You've completed it. You've literally, you've done it. But the thing is, a lot of guys won't be able to have, like, you probably don't have that aggression. You probably don't have the aggression to change your life. So here's plan B, because I don't want to, like, like, there are people in, like, this community who aren't going to have that aggression, but I don't want to turn around and look at you and be like, hey, you're fucked. Like, I want to still give you an option. And that is digital minimalism. And this is basically the idea of using your phone mindfully and productively. Now, what I mean by this is that when you go on your phone, nine times out of 10, when you're picking up your phone from your pocket, it is not for something that you need to do. It's for out of literally instinct, you have no reason to go on your phone. And the thing is like, you probably like can't go and become a complete monk and like never touch your phone ever again, because you probably need it for schoolwork. Like, you're probably like in your teens, you're probably still in school. You probably need, they give you your homework on like phones now. They email it to you or like, like you have to go onto like Google classrooms and like actually do it. 
So like you probably need your phone or if you're working like a remote nine to five job, you still need your phone. However, nine times out of 10, when you pick up your phone, it's not for that work. It's for anything else, everything else that's stimulating and not productive. And that's what digital minimalism is. Every time you pick your phone up, you're mindful and you're picking it up for that productive reason only. So what I want you to do when you pick up your phone, I just want you to ask yourself every single time and just keep it in your mind like a broken recorder and just play back it constantly. What am I picking my phone up for? Now, if it is for work, like, okay, I'm picking up my phone so I can look at these emails for work or I'm picking up my phone because I got that homework that's due in 30 minutes and I'm outside the classroom. Like you're picking up your phone like, okay, I need to do this. And if you are thinking about that, playing it in your mind right before you pick up your phone, guess what? You're probably gonna actually do it and not get distracted. If, however, the nine times out of 10, you're picking up your phone and you're like, okay, why am I picking up my phone? Oh, I don't know. I just didn't have instinct. I actually haven't got a reason to go on here. Then don't throw your phone across the room or across the classroom. Just put it away. You don't, if you don't need to go on your phone, don't. That is digital minimalism. And this is 100%, 100% something that you can do if you don't have the aggression to like literally just go on a massive detox and just say fuck you to your phone and just never go on it again and become a monk. Uh, which I really want to do, but I mean, you probably you probably don't have that aggression to take back your life. And if you do, do it, do it. Look, if you like this video, look, another video will come up in the corner at some point. Look, you got this. You 100% got this. I'm building this channel up. And by the end of 2024, we are going to have 100,000 subscribers and we're going to have a full-on community that can help you. Not just me. I won't just be helping you. I have a community here. I will have a community by the end of 2024 that will help you in times of need when you are stuck. So problems like these, you'll be able to overcome. Look, if you're on self-improvement, you got this. I believe in you. Now you just got to believe in you. Anyway, stay consistent. Do the best you can. Love you, bro. Mwah! Obviously, uh, no homo. And uh, we're just going to put that out there.